after my previous video on Evolution X, my device got evolved into Android 14 with some black magic behind the scenes. I was able to evolve my device and since then it's terrible. So in terms of customization, this term default aka gone backwards which means it has very less customization now. Anyways, this is a common thing when a new Android version is released. So the first thing is launcher and it is talk pixel launcher also its search function works well too just like in pixel devices and there is new lock screen clock styles too but there is a catch which i'll share later i thought i won't be saying this but to be honest i like the hyper os one much more and it looks even better than ios i hope nothing does something like that or i can try iconify which seems to be a good alternative video on it soon anyways hyper os is also available for redmi note 7 which I might try soon as well. So make sure to subscribe if you are new. And now let's go to settings to find out some customization. Oh, the evolver is here and it contains all of the customization that you can find. So the themes is same. Just now there is no support for money settings and all of the things remains the same as you can see. There are still a lot of font styles, Wi-Fi icon, icon shape, brightness slider options are available too. the status bar there is this basic stuff that you can see just the good old traffic indicator battery styles and LTE to 4G toggle under notification you have the toggle to turn on or off heads up and that's it for notification heads up and these are the other options that you get gestures is all stock android ones but there is long press for torch and double tap to sleep as well which is a nightmare to be honest wanna know why then keep watching to find out buttons have these options as you can see so under miscellaneous i think like they dragged and dropped the same code and it worked out somehow cause it is the same as the one based on android 13. for system settings we have system UI tuner and Xiaomi parts. Also, I noticed a bug here. As soon as I enter system UI tuner, the battery person text on status bar automatically changes its position to center. For some extra things, you will get basic call recorder as well, which is a pre installed app. Safety net is passed without root and the wide one is L3. So banking is not a problem here. Streaming can be a problem. Geekband score is similar to previous Evolution X review, which is also similar to 4.4 kernel. And the CPU throttling test shows kinda same results and it somehow managed to drop just 88% from its max performance in 5 minute test with 100 threads. So for gaming, I have two scenes, one with screen recording and other one without it. And the difference will blow your mind and note that the screen was recorded at the highest possible settings. <laughs> so the gameplay is not that good and the game runs with some dips here and there as I was screen recording at the same time. You guys see this, meanwhile I was seeing this. Heads up, enemy UAV spotted. Enemy my fury upon you by the way game runs fine without screen recording and does perform slightly better so remember i said there is a catch for lock screen clock styles well the thing is it's bugged whenever i try to open clock color and size from wallpaper and styles it crashes instantly first time it worked fine but as i started to change colors it went into berserk mode and started to crash since then the booting does not fix it either 
Another thing is double tap to sleep works literally everywhere on lock screen. Well you might think it is fine but it should not work when entering pin to unlock the device. If you have a pin like me 3969 which is close to each other then you might have problems like me but anyways this is a test build so you guys will be getting a proper version with eventually more customization than this. So Evolution X version 8 is only good for daily driving which includes very lightweight usage. Optimization is not that good yet and there are many bugs which is expected from the test build. So you guys might not face this issue in the end as you will get a pretty stable ROM. So that's it for this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Also leave a comment and like on this video.